This is what the world looks like to Ray Flynn. His central sight is gone and he relies entirely on his peripheral vision. Ray told me it severely limits what he can do. Hi, Ray. Well, I can't use the cash machines. I'd like to be able to go shopping and finding things and doing my own pin number in the mill, but my brother has to do all that. He does everything. I'm going to look at the back of your eye. Ray has dry, age-related macular degeneration, AMD, which affects mainly the elderly and happens when cells in part of the retina become damaged. A few hours later, the surgical team at Manchester Royal Eye Hospital are ready to wrap this, the retinal implant, around the back of Ray's right eye, a world first for his condition. Age-related macular degeneration is the most common cause of sight loss in the developed world. At least half a million people in the UK are affected, so there is vast potential for any technology which can improve visual function and enhance quality of life. This is how it works. The patient wears special glasses, which have a built-in video camera, the visual information is wirelessly transmitted to the retinal implant on the eye. Electrodes stimulate the retina's remaining cells to send those visual signals to the brain to interpret. Two weeks after surgery, the key moment as the bionic eye is switched on. So please close your eyes. Ray is asked to keep his eyes closed during the test so the team can be sure whatever he sees must come from the implant relaying information from the camera on his glasses. Diagonal. Success. Vertical. Horizontal. Oh, it was wonderful with my eyes closed to see the bars on there. It was really good. For his surgeon, it's highly significant. This provides hope to patients with not only this condition, but also to other patients with loss of central vision due to degenerative diseases. So this is just the beginning, and this could be uh, the beginning of a new era. Implants can't deliver fine visual detail like a human eye, but the technology is improving, and trials like this are crucial to the development of bionic sight. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, Manchester.